Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. And I think it's 110 today, uh, 111, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't done an awakening for quite a while um, because I've been doing huge amounts of meditation and grounding myself and preparing myself for the awakening and ascending as much as I can. And I just want, thought it'd be really cool to talk to you today because um, I want to talk to you, first of all, I want to know how you're getting on. And do you realize it's only 12 days to go to the elections? 12 days! God, we've been waiting and the time's gone so fast. Thank God. Thank God it's 12 days to go. Um, and what's happened there? Sorry, something happened there. 12 days to go. Um, things are popping up here all the time. There you go. Anyway, um, the reason I'm feeling cool, I'm feeling okay at the moment, is um, because I've been dancing. And one of the things I love so much, as people know, they know me, is dancing. And of course, when this lockdown started, um, I couldn't dance anymore because there wasn't anywhere to go, because I, all the classes closed down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But guess what? Tonight I went on Zoom and did an ecstatic dance on Zoom, and I really, really, really loved it. I really loved it, and it made me realize how much the ego holds me back sometimes. It made me realize how much the ego was holding me back. Because I'm sure these things were going on in the meetups for months and months and months now. But Lauren, that ego, that part that didn't want to go on Zoom and to do dancing on Zoom, because how can you do that on Zoom? You need to be in a hall with people and bonding. Do you know what I mean? It didn't want to do it. It missed out on months and months of dancing. And so today I went back to dancing and I'm very, very grateful because the body um, got benefit from it. The body realized that that's what I needed today. I needed to dance. And so that's what I've done. The ego is very damaging, very dangerous, and it can hold you back in lots of ways. And so I'm doing these courses. I'm doing an ascension course. These courses, I'm doing an ascension course at the moment. And um, I just decided to give myself a chance to do what I love because, you know, I was getting to a point where I was just not having any more fun, not having any more fun at all. Uh, just literally meditating all the time as much as possible. But where's the fun? You know, and so that's where the dancing came in. And so I'm really, really grateful for that. Sorry, my, as usual, my naked shoulder's playing up a bit. So um, what do I want to talk about today? I want to talk about today about um, how hard it is sometimes when you are going through the awakening and you're awake and you know a lot. Um, you're going through ascension, I mean, and you're awake. And you know what's coming because you're psychic and you're awake and other people don't and they still look at you as if you're either mad or oh just focus on the positive and yet you know what's coming and you just want to say to people look um, I am doing everything I can to get as strong as possible so that I can cope with what's coming and you need to do the same okay but people that I'm speaking to, friends, star seeds, that are that know about what's coming and are very aware um, of um, the good and you know the stuff that's going to push people out of their comfort zones, and a lot of people won't make it, as we know. Um, we have to get so strong, and so I thought I'd come on here today. And tell you about all the great things that are going on that you can use on the meetups to get strong. There's free meditations. And most things are on donation. The Law of Attraction Centre in London are doing things. Um, 
you need to find out how much they charge. I don't think it's that expensive. Michael James and Tracy Friend, who I've known for years, they're doing, um, I think on Saturday, they're doing uh, a whole day of meditation. Um, you need to check it out anyway. Go on the meetups. And because, you know, it's now universal, so you, because it's on Zoom, there's God knows how much stuff going on. And you can do loads and loads of stuff. And it's really, really helped me today and yesterday because there's no one here. I'm the only human with two cats. Um, it really helped me because I was able to find some great meditations, free meditations online, Saj Yoga. Um, and as I say today, to do the movement, ecstatic dancing. And so that was brilliant. That was brilliant. So how are you all? How are you all doing? And so, yeah, so the way I just wanted to come on here because I haven't been on since I went on YouTube this weekend when we started streaming and I haven't been back yet because I'm doing a lot of work on myself, letting go, getting stronger, getting stronger, getting stronger to cope with the way my life is and the way, uh, you know, as I say, we don't know what's coming. Well, we do 99 percent, but there's always that one percent, isn't it? So really, what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, sometimes people come on here and they make comments and their comments are derogative. And I feel like saying to them, well, you do it then, which is basically what I want to say. Um, I, I also want to talk a little bit about a huge spiritual experience I had with unity Unity uh, in Maidenhead are amazing. Um, you can ring the uh, line; they give you um, they give you the prayer line. It's one one. It's zero one six two eight six two eight nine one six zero one six two eight six two eight nine one six, and you can get spiritual guidance over the phone every day uh, from nine to four p.m. I think they will pray with you. They will bring you into a, new, a vibration to help you ascend. Um, I had a really, really incredible uh, counseling session with someone from Unity. And I, I can't, I don't know what it was, the session, what he actually did, but I would recommend it. Um, absolutely incredible Unity uh, counseling session. Um, where the whole of my body, the whole of the body reacted to the counseling session. We, we were doing forgiveness, we were doing confronting issues. And one of the things I realized when I did that session is that wherever I was going anywhere near people or doing anything in life, I was carrying my ancestors. I was carrying the anger of my grandmother and I was carrying the, grand, the anger of my mother in particular. And that I tried to do everything possible to not become like my mom. And because I fought so hard to not become like her, guess what happened? So <laughs> very interesting. And this was a fascinating session. I can't tell you too much, obviously it's confidential, but that's the kind of session that they did with me. And um, it's, I, I, don't, I don't know what it's called, but it was so powerful because my body, I started out with all this tension we, we'll do a little bit now, actually, in case you've got tension in your body. Okay, so what I want you to do is I just want you to put your hand where the tension is. So say if the tension is on the shoulders, put your hands on your shoulders, okay? And then I just want you to think about what the body is trying to say to you. What does the body want? Because... What happened to me is the body said it, it wanted to let go. It said that everything, I was carrying everything on my shoulders, my ans the ancestors. And the minute I asked them to leave, this is actually what happened. I'll show you. This is what happened to my arms. I said I wanted to open up and without me doing anything, the arms just started to go like this. It was fascinating. I've got to get the video to watch because I was talking 
and asking, the body was asking what it needed. And it started to do this. And before I knew it, everything was open, 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 open. And everything had happened. And I kept, and I said to this guy who was doing the session, I said, look what's happening to my body. Look, look, look. And I didn't plan it. And then when I started to talk about how I had to be, for some reason, I thought I had to be this really strong queen of swords, this really powerful woman that had to go out there and fight. Uh, I didn't realize that I was carrying the pain of my grandmother and my mother, everything they went through. And the minute I said, I didn't want that, I, I, the process, I started looking at my arms as I was saying it. And they were moving like this, closer and closer and closer until they literally, I was hugging myself. Isn't that incredible? As I said, I don't know the name of this process, but it works. It works. The body was actually saying what it wanted and what it wanted was to be hugged. It wanted me to hug myself and to let go of the sadness of my grandmother and my mother. As people say to me, they, I didn't realize why people ran away because they saw the sadness and the depressions and the pain that I carried from my grandmother and my mother. Isn't that weird? And I didn't even know I was doing it. This is why it's so subconscious. And so this is something I wanted to share with you today. So if you've got pain, let's just do it quickly together. Put the hand where, put your hands where the pain is or the suffering that you feel in the body. In the body, not your body, the body. The body, the mind, okay? The soul is the observer. The body, the mind, okay? You're going to watch now from the point of view of the observer. You're going to witness from the soul. As so a soul can feel pain, all it, can, all it can feel is love and peace, okay? So what I want you to do is take a deep breath in. Okay. Deep breath in. I want you to think about who is sitting on your shoulders with me, who's sitting on my shoulders. If it's on your leg, who's sitting on your leg? What is sitting on that part of the body that is suffering at the moment? Think about it. Because we can't do this no one-to-one, -one, just say in your mind to that part, everything you need to say for the next few minutes. And see what happens to the body. Let the body do whatever it wants to do. So I will tell you in a minute what I asked. What did you ask? See, already I've got more peace. I didn't want to carry on my shoulders what I've been carrying. And so I asked 
for that to leave. The body, not I. The body didn't want to carry what it was carrying, or the people it's carrying, and so it has to leave. And so that's why the body went, something went, no. <laughs> then it pushed everything off the shoulders. That's it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I would be interested in knowing what your experience was because I share the healing experiences I have in order to help people. So I'd be interested in what your experience was. So please comment down below, ideally with nice comments. If you want a proper session with me, contact me on uh, movingontv1 at gmail.com. As you know, I do tarot and um, I did a few on the live, YouTube live, and I expect I might do one this weekend. And once I get know-how to bring people on, guests onto the streaming, I'll be bringing guests on, but at the moment it's, it's just myself. And so, but if you want a tarot reading with me, which obviously I have to charge for, according to what you afford, or psychic healing or intuitive, it's all connected. I use the cards and the cards really help me as well to figure out what I can do to help. And it's working. People do love it. And they seem to be telling me it's working. So if you want a proper session with me, a proper read, reading, let me know. And if the body's suffering, then I'll teach you this technique more and more. And um, whatever I learn, I teach. Because we share, I believe in sharing. So there you go. Um, just before I go, Someone asked me to sing a little bit of Can You Hear Me Sing? Um, because Can You Hear Me Sing? I wrote that whole album after Soham. Soham happened in Cambridgeshire in the beginning of 2000 and something when the two little girls were kidnapped by this bastard and it, their bodies were found. And in order to raise the vibration then, I think it was 2002 or something like that. I wrote a whole album of peace and one of them is called Can You Hear Me Sing? And it's based on, though I walk through the valley of death, I will hear no, I will see no evil, I will feel no evil. And the, start, the words go a bit like this. Though I walk through the valley, of cold and dark there is always a song right here in my heart as i try to express my love to you and glory in your smile though i walk through the valley of cold inside there is always a sun that will shine so bright as I wander through the tunnel to your loving arms. Can you hear me sing? Can you hear me As I long to feel your love in my soul, your love in my soul. Can you hear my prayer? Echo Your angel of light, your angel of light to show the way. As I walk through the tunnel that leads to you, all the songs of enchantment come shining through, and you always hear 
the echo of these loving words through the waters and rivers of tears i've cried lies a message of hope i feel deep inside and it shines right through with colors and eternal can you hear me sing can you hear me sing as i glow in love with love for this life all oh, creatures on earth can you hear my breath echo everywhere as i long to be your angel of light your angel of light to show my way. I love you guys. Let me be your angel of light as I negotiate the darkness and the, the uh, as Laurie Ladd the, calls it the, um, what, what does she call it? like walking through the molasses and the treacle and the shit and the merde <laughs> and come through into the light. And I hope you can feel the words of that song and that it carries you in the next few weeks. We're nearly there. And then we come into our mission on Earth. We are ready to come into our mission on planet. So I recommend you do a lot of meditation, a lot of grounding, a lot of drinking water, a lot of connecting inside. Spend the whole day meditating if you can. If you're in a position like I am where you don't have work, then use it in a positive way. Meditate. If you're struggling, contact me. I'm always there for you. And as I say, if you can't afford it, I barter. Share this everywhere, subscribe, share, and like. We're coming into the new awakening. We just have another few weeks to go through the madness. Hard not to pay too much attention to it. Look beyond, join groups that know the real answers. Right? I try to bring what I can onto moving on TV, watch the programs, may help you. And I hope 99% of me believes that this is going to be the beginning of a huge ascension and it's all about the children. So notice the places that will be locked down, there is a reason. 99% of me believes it. I always hold that 1% back just in case. But we will be ready. We will be ready, you know who you are. You know and hear who you are we just need to do as much ascension work as possible. Cry, scream, dance, sing, dance. I already said dance. Do whatever you have to do to bring it up. Feel and heal. Feel and heal. Cut out sugar, gluten, dairy. Eat a lot of healthy foods and drink gallons of water. I'm on nearly two bottles a day now nearly two bottles of water a day and that's it and protect yourself with the violet flame and apparently you've got to take the shield off of you when you go to sleep at night never knew that and those of you that believe otherwise put a bible underneath your pillow whatever your belief system is as long as it helps you it doesn't matter you need to ascend and you need to 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 get to that level quickly because in a, in a month from now, you will have a lot of work. And I love you and you know what that means. If you don't, then please contact me. Take care. Bye.